Hello everybody and welcome to the tech channel. Today we have another door lock related project. You can check the channel. I uploaded before a project about an easy algorithm you can use. Then I uploaded a project of a fingerprint door lock. Today we have another passcode based door lock project. I'll use the keypad for it and it will be completely embedded. We'll be able to change the code by using the keypad only. The lock I use is a solenoid lock, they are pretty popular. I also use a relay in case your door lock use a relay. And before that I did a door lock controlled by a DC motor. First let's check our component. So I'll be using an Arduino Uno board, a keypad 4x4, you can use like a 4x3 but you have to modify the code a little bit because I'm using the A key then I use the solenoid lock it's a little one it uses like 12 volt then I use a relay a code will work with the solenoid and another code will work with the relay I'll be also using a push button this one to open from the inside and here I have a MOSFET transistor I use it with the solenoid then I have a LCD I2C screen to show like what we are typing so first let's begin by wiring our tools and components here So first we'll wire the keypad as I'm using 4x4 keypad it has 8 pins there's a tutorial about how to use it and I'll be using pins from 2 to 9 so the keypad is wired like this so every wire goes to the correct pin I said from 2 to 9 here we'll add our LCD I2C screen and it's very simple 5 volt ground SDA and SCL for A4 and A5 so the LCD is wired now we will add our push button as you can see I add here a resistor just to fix the potential when we are not pushing the button and fix it to zero and this pin goes to the ground then the button has a 3.3 volt input you can use 5 volt no problem and then the pin that we will read is from there like from where the resistor and the push button meets and it's number 10 now i want to add my solenoid lock but the problem i cannot like uh, power it directly from the arduino arduino only delivers like uh, 5 volt and also it's not it's better not to use like a device that contains a coil directly from the arduino it will draw a lot of current so i'll be using like an external power source here as you can see i have two pins and here there's like approximately 12 volts and to control the solenoid I have a transistor, a MOSFET transistor it's an IRF510N it's an N channel transistor and here just always check the pins so here I have GDS like gate, drain and source so I place them like here gate, drain and source so the gate is controlled by the Arduino output that we will use for the solenoid and here I'm using 11 then there's the source the source should go to the ground so here my transistor is wired to the arduino this transistor is pretty popular to use with arduino so the transistor is installed now i should add my solenoid and the wiring is following like i have the ground from the power source should go to the source of the transistor and then the drain goes to the solenoid don't forget the solenoid is polarized it has a ground and we 
VCC plug and red. Then we wire the VCC plus 12 volt from here to the other part of the solenoid or other connector. So that's it for the wiring. It's very simple. I leave in the link right below where you can see the full wiring diagram. Now let's test it. So this is our test bench. This is the LCD I square C screen and this is the push button. So the push button you can use it like from the inside to open from the inside. And here's our solenoid. There is the transistor and here is my keypad. So to open it from the inside you just press the button and it opens for a certain delay of time. I use like 3 seconds. So now let's check the keypad's function. So as you can see in the screen there it's always written standby. You can change it, put whatever you want. So here to open the door you press this sign, star sign and it tells you to enter the code. So the default code is 6601 and you press A to confirm and it opens. You can enter like a wrong code four five six seven eight nine one a it doesn't accept like six six oh one which is the correct code but we will add another digit two for example a it's wrong so the only code that works is six six oh one So to change the code all you have to do is to press the pound button and enter the old code. So the old code is 6601, you press A to confirm. And now you enter the new code. The new code let's say 1234 and you press A to confirm the new code. It tells you to like re-enter the code again just to check 1234. We press A, the code is changed, sorry. Like now, let's open. 1, 2, 3, 4. It opens. The old code. The old code doesn't work like any, anymore, obviously. And I can power off and power on the Arduino again. Let's check which code is working. Two, three, four is the code that works. So like the code is always stored in the EEPROM of the Arduino. So the 6601 doesn't work anymore. So this is how you use it with our solenoid. Now we can check like uh, how to use it with a relay. It's pretty much the same. Like all we have to do is change some wire and just like switch between two functions in the code and we will see it later so this is the relay i'm using it has three pins vcc and input then ground it's very easy to use you can use two channels one but i'm using this one and here always verify like which voltage is used for the relay here it's using like three volt there are some that function with five volt or more and I'll be using directly with the Arduino, no problem. So to wire it, it's very simple. First, there's the ground. Let's begin with the ground. The ground is come on with the Arduino. I'm not using external like power for the relay, although it's recommended to do it. Then there's the input. The input is 11, as I used for the transistor so the input for the relay is the output like for the Arduino and then there's VCC and I'll be using 3.3 volts from the Arduino 
so this is it let's power our arduino and check again so our relay is now wired let's test it with the button first as you can see and hear it also so this is how you use the relay you just have to switch like the low with high and we will see it in the code like next it's very easy the code is still working like it's uh, sorry and code is still working let's enter it one two three four it opens like normal so this is how you use a relay and also how you use the solenoid they are pretty simple if you have like a door lock that uses a dc motor you can check the previous tutorials so now let's pass to the code and check it so this is the code that we are using with the solenoid as you can see here we have the libraries keypad and the liquid crystal for for the lcd and then we are using the eprom as we are calling the eprom to store our password or passcode so here i'm declaring the pin for the solenoid it actually is the pin for the gate of the transistor which is 11 and then the push button on 10 so the things we saw them before are for the lcd i squared c screen also the keypad thing so here i have some variables that i use later so the first time we upload this code we should actually comment these lines what these lines are just a for loop that gets like the code from the eprom but as we are using it uh, first time we don't know what is stored there so we command it and here as you can see i have the pin modes for the solenoid and the button one is input and the other is output so this is what is running in the loop we constantly reading like uh, the key from the keypad and if this star it tells us like the sequence to open the door or if it's like the pound is the sequence to change the code then if the button like is pressed from the inside it opens directly the solenoid so here when we press start like the important thing is that get code function and here we can show in the screen whatever you want so here i'm writing like enter code and here when code is get code it's this function here so the get code like sets the i a and g to zero so here as long as the user didn't uh, press like the A button we are just in this uh, while loop and we are reading constantly the like the keys entered by the user and as long as it's not A and it's not no key like there he typed an actual key we print star just to like uh, hide the code from other people and here the test is done on the keys entered if they are correct this A get incremented also this i otherwise this uh, a just get like decremented if you enter like a false code and if you enter like the correct code this a will have like the value of 4 and what is what we test if a like equals size of code which is 4 and that's what i'm using the size of here so you can change in the code actually you can make it a six digit code or nine digit codes or like a three digit code so as you can play with the with the size of the code as you want that's why i'm using a size of a lot so as i said if this a like gets the value of the size of the array which means all the codes like or all the digits entered by the user are correct it opens the door so this is the function that opens the door or if, if it's wrong it just print wrong so this is how you open the door there is like the function over here it prints the welcome and it put the solenoid on high set which means open and then on low state that's it for three seconds and it closed so the only way to open the door is under the correct code and press a if you add or if you minus something it just doesn't open now let's pass to the other function which is change code so you press this button and it runs this function this is the change code function it's very easy you just take like first we read the old code which is like as we have here 6601 so again if the code is correct we just would test like the value of a the value of a should be like equal to the size of the code array so here it is we test if a like if the code entered is correct which is the old code we run these two functions 
get new code 1 and get new code 2 they have like exact same thing but everyone stores the code like in a separate area go check them they are exactly the same they just take the code and store it like in a code buff 1 the other one stored in code buff 2 and we compare like the code stored in code buff 1 and code buff 2 you get it and this is how you test that the new code uh, is actually matching the first new code entered should match the second new code entered so now we store like our two codes and here we set this s to 0 now we are testing if the codes are matching like from this element first element is matching the first element of the second code if they are all matching the s will be equal to 4 which means they are matching and we take one of them and store it actually in code and also store it in the eeprom so that's it how you store like the codes and the others are just like the other cases like if the codes aren't matching like the first buffer code and second buffer code is not, are not matching it's print the codes are not matching or if the old code isn't correct it doesn't permit you to change the code if the like the first one is not correct so those are like the functions i use for this project it's pretty much simple down below you'll find a link for the wiring and for the code the codes i'll add like the some comments to make it more easy so just understand the algorithm and you'll understand how the code is made don't forget when you're you like you should use it the second time you should and command these lines make these lines and and command them and now every time like uh, the arduino is uh, resetted or turned off and on again it will read directly from the eprom because now we know the values that are stored there so that's it for this project i hope you like it if you have any problem you can contact me or leave it in a comment so here don't forget about the relay so the relay is also easy and simple all i have to do is to switch between low and high as you can see to open low and to close is high for the solenoid it's the other way high low so those are just the few difference between uh, the relay and the Solenoid. Okay, that's it for this project. Leave a like and subscribe if you want and see you next time